Hey guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, pretty much record your Android screen. Now, this is an HTC Desire 510, and it's not one of the best phones, it's not one of the worst phones. It's pretty much a recommended phone, prepaid phone, should I say, running on Boost Mobile and some other carriers that actually does a pretty good job at doing most things, like playing apps and stuff, and it's a good design. It reminds me of the HTC One at E8, most likely, considering it has HTC Sense and stuff. But this is not what we're showing you. We are going to be showing you how to record your screen, or pretty much just you on a computer and you know use XSplit maybe live stream or record a video of you playing games on your computer in a high, much higher quality than the original streamer recorder thing works. So first of all, you're going to go on and go into your Play Store, and you're going to want to find Mobizen. Mobizen is an app that lets you record your Android or even just uh, view your Android on your computer. So since I've already installed it, we're gonna open this here. I don't really care if you see my email because I have that on public already. It's not like anything special. Now you can record the screen here, which we'll do, and you're gonna see a little uh, icon. It's a little bit like ASC if you re remember that from my old video. So I'm recording this right now. So uh, give me a second. Let me close your microphone while you're doing this, by the way. So, but since that was my little test, you're gonna stop the recording. Am I recording again? Okay, I am. No, I'm not. Okay, but since we have recorded the video, I'm going to move that down there. Let me go slide up. You see the recording finished? And you can watch the recording. You're going to watch the video. And. And see that recorded video. But now, if you want to go a little bit more extreme, you know, you know, the high quality, you know little more, you know, professional way that I want to do it, which I'm going to be uploading most of this stuff in, most probably. Uh, well, first of all, you're going to want to uh, get a USB cable, which I have right here. It's the one that you're going to be using to plug in your phone to your computer. So, for example, the HTC Desire 510 uses a micro, I think it's micro, I don't know. But here, let me uh, just plug it in. Okay, if you're wondering why I'm recording this on, I'm recording to the Logitech C920. Ah! <laughs> okay, um, but since I plug it in now, you're gonna want to go to your settings and go to USB debugging. I've already enabled that, but certain phones you're gonna need to find out how to enable USB debugging and get developer options. I think this is one of the phones you need to. I don't remember at all actually, but you're gonna have to find out how to enable USB debugging. I know you have to. Usually has a thing when you're when you're setting up the app though it will say you need to enable USB debugging if you don't already have it enabled. So, but you'll be able to enable that, and then you're gonna go back into the Mobizen app. So there we go. You're gonna see that now. You're gonna so I included the Mobizen uh, uh .exe in the description through Mediafire. You can get it on the website, but it's just a lot quicker to do this way. So you're gonna want to go to the Mobizen. Thing on here, your computer, and you want to go to open up. Now you need an account and a PIN number, or you probably have to make a PIN when you want to connect to it. So it's it's pretty much gives you instruction right here. You know, download it. Next, and you're gonna enter the password that you uh used for it. So there you go, connecting, and you should get an alert on your phone saying some computer or Mac address is trying to connect to your computer as soon as you enter your uh, four digit uh, you know code and I just got a notification on my phone saying I just connected so uh, yeah and then you see this so now since we have done it you can see my phone on here using a exploit you can use this with OBS too but that was pretty simple, and it only took a little bit of time to do it. it didn't take long at all. We were to completely get it on the screen because I already had, I kind of had it set up here. But all you have to do in XSplit is what you'd have to uh make a new screen capture. You had to you had to click it on the thing where you see your uh you know Android image. You'd right click it and you you'd You'd uncheck capture layer windows and maybe show mouse if you really want it. But you need to have exclusive window capture on. This way you can be in any screen or anything and it won't lag you 
unless you have a bad computer, but most people usually don't have a bad computer. But th this second step, using Exploit or OBS to see you better without the watermark, um, is pretty much for people who have better computers and want to record in high quality, but if you just want to be a little cheaper, like I was back then, and just record through the MobiSend app, it's just fine. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. You're just supposed to record. You don't even need to have. You don't even have to be uh in kind of the USB or have root access or have to get the thing. Cause with ASC, I remember you had to get into your computer and you to the program would work at the time. But for USB debugging and stuff, you have to have the driver installed for the phone already. And certain uh phones do not have drivers, if I know that correctly. So if you don't have drivers, sorry, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of gameplay. Clash of Clans. It's a widescreen app. And since I have decided to go widescreen. Uh, you'll be able to see that. So this is a uh, widescreen. Now I'm gonna tell you this: the reason why it looks a little bit less quality is because first of all, you're looking at a small screen on your uh, monitor. So yeah, that's one thing. But I told you for make it so it'd be dedicated window or whatever. I mean, let me see what was that called? Um, like exclusive window capture? Because most of the people on here probably gonna have one monitor instead of like two or three like me. So this way, it could be behind the window while you're recording, and you can watch yourself record it. Now, since my phone is a little bit laggy, you know, this, I mean, this is a recommended phone. I say this is a good phone to get because it's only sixty bucks at Target right now, because I just bought it recently. Test this out, and it works just great. I mean, you can see me, uh, you know, doing this on the phone, and uh, yeah. So anything you do on Android, you'll be able to see on the phone. So again, go on Instagram, want to go on Skype, use an exploit and show them their stuff. Because with exploit, you can go on Skype and press exploit broadcaster, you know, as a webcam. Because it registers the webcam, and you can actually see it. So, but, so anything you do, you can see. Because I'm doing everything. Everything that's on, sushi on. I mean, I have everything connected I, uh, here. I mean, I'll show you my settings. Why not? Um, here you go, uh, more, let's see, I'm gonna see if I can find the bumper options, but, yeah, this is pretty much it, that's, uh, all it is, it's a really simple app, so, um, thanks for watching, guys, and this is just an update tutorial, oh, okay, well, thanks for watching, guys.